Don't you find it strange that as a person who likes the same sex, I am almost forced to step foot out of an imaginary closet? But the boy who wants the girl isn't required to open an imaginary door and profess to the world that they are different. It's silly until it isn't, until it matters, until it shows up on your front door and into your home. How will you react? With open arms? With a closed heart? Will you take into consideration the emotions that the person in front of you might be feeling? Will the words in the letter mean anything to you? Will they cause you disappointment? Or anger? How about sadness? Will you drive them away because you cannot understand them? Will the house grow silent? like it did in mine? Will the only noise that resonates come from a box with a screen and sound? Will the statues have a say on how you feel towards your child? The cross? How about the minds of others? I was about to turn 15 when I wrote a letter, put it on my dad's pillow, and left on a short trip to Mexico with my mother. I decided to do it then at such an early age because I knew that they would need time, time to heal from this giant wound. I know it felt to them as such a deep, stinging wound. It's not easy being gay and Latino. It's not as accepting in my culture, where the idea of a homosexual has been tainted, misconstrued, and badly talked about, especially in older generations. Maybe it's a religious thing, or something that's been learned and passed down to current generations. Maybe a combination of both, I'm not sure. But what I do know is that it needs to stop being of importance, that it's alright to be different, and that that is what needs to be taught. Because this type of hatred or misunderstanding is taught and learned. It's okay to be gay. Being gay doesn't hurt you. When we're all gone, buried beneath the earth, or turned into dust, we're all the same, all terminal. There's not an equal balance in the minds of all, which leads there to be uneven fairness in this world.